Brexiteer Ben Habib has issued a scathing attack on Boris Johnson for how he has navigated the UK's departure from the EU. In particular, the former Brexit party MEP claimed the public did not vote to leave by 52% to 48% in 2016 to have left Northern Ireland, largely in the EU. Speaking to Express, Mr Habib claimed the future ramifications for Northern Ireland will only be realised in the years to come following Brexit. Not only did Mr Habib hit out at the annexation of Northern Ireland but he also claimed the Prime Minister has deceived British voters over the assurances of an oven-ready trade deal. Mr Habib said, I don't think people understand what's happened in Northern Ireland. Over time, people will realize what an awful thing has happened with Northern Ireland. We did not vote for Northern Ireland to be annexed. We didn't vote for a border down the Irish Sea. We didn't vote for any of that. Boris Johnson has deceived the British people by saying he has an oven-ready deal to take the UK out of the EU. He knew that wasn't true. In the lead-up to the general election in 2019, Mr Johnson stated the UK had a deal with the EU ready to go and oven ready. However, the government later claimed the Prime Minister was referring to the withdrawal agreement. The withdrawal agreement was signed on January 24 following Mr Johnson's large election victory. Within the withdrawal agreement, the two sides also signed the Northern Ireland Protocol. The Northern Ireland Protocol was agreed in order to stop the creation of a hard border on the island of Ireland. The protocol will keep Northern Ireland within the UK's customs territory. However, it also states Northern Ireland will adhere to the EU's single market rules for trade. From next year, no checks will take place between the Republic and Northern Ireland as the two will be in the same regulatory alignment. Checks will need to be made for goods entering Northern Ireland from Great Britain due to the creation of a new regulatory border down the Irish Sea. Under the Internal Market Bill, the government had tried to remove certain elements of the withdrawal agreement. In particular, the elements relating to state aid and customs exit declarations. Due to this, the EU had threatened to end talks and begin legal proceedings. After a meeting with European Commission Vice President Mauro Sefcovic earlier this month, the UK agreed to remove some elements of the legislation.